and we are back with our expert of the day it's not his first time here and he always has a gem of wisdom when it comes to mental health uh, and everything around it and uh, allow me to introduce Tabere Morioki who is a very passionate activist of positivity and good mental health Karibu sana Asante, uh, Maureen. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you again. Yes. And I'm happy that uh, we've been keeping well. Yes. And at least we thank the Lord for Absolutely. giving us help yes. and being able to meet once again. Thank Asante. you. And thank you for honoring us with your presence once more. I think you're becoming a fast favorite among um, our audience. <laughs> I love what I do. Right. So if, uh, like, politicians are happy when they meet people and address them. <laughs> right. I'm happy when I assist a soul to yes. come and realize this and this I need to change. Absolutely. So, uh, anytime. Yes, that's yes. your true calling. Yes. Yeah. And you. today is no different. We have this amazing young mom. Her mm -hmm. name is Queen Mutheo. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she's gone through her own turmoil of now having a baby mm. and not being in an okay mental state to take care of her baby. And the more she kept telling her story, the more I kept realizing, oh my, this is something that is very common. Mm. And uh, I don't want to label it, but it's a chance of having postpartum depression. And maybe from a prof professional perspective, you could explain to us what postpartum depression is, uh, factors about it, what are the symptoms, and then we can also decipher towards the end how we can avoid it altogether or how we can actually deal with it when it arrives especially for young moms like herself okay please have the floor <laughs> thank you and uh karibu uh model. thank you uh, in simple terms mm -hmm. uh to the language of every person yes. uh like i like avoiding all terms that are scientific yes one thing what mm -hmm. is depression yes it is trauma yep and trauma that is beyond your mental capability mm -hmm. Actually, in the medical world, yes. we do not have the real cause okay. of depression. Okay. Okay. So I'm they, learning they, 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 they today. don't exactly tell you yes. it is caused by this and that and that and that. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, they will give other other many reasons. Okay. This causes this. Mm -hmm. Now back to depression. Mm -hmm. Depression simply I can call it sadness that is not coming to an end. Aha. I think in I've simple heard that language, yes. you're getting annoyed. Yes. Uh, you are so unhappy yes. until the unhappiness yes. is unhappy with you. Okay, <laughs> it's done with you, and it says, exactly. "Okay, fine, I'm staying too." Yes. If you're not uh, going anywhere, you do not know how to deal with it. You right. do not know how to address your pain. Yes. yes. And in in layman's language, mm -hmm. depression is pain that is beyond expression i see okay you've lost somebody mm -hmm. you've mourned mm -hmm. you've grieved yes you've hurt yes you are aching yes until you can't ache anymore no more and now this yes. goes beyond trauma okay because you're already dealing with trauma of course. now you go to the next level okay. you are depressed wow. the now you cannot tell the mood yes, yes. you are unable to deal with your feelings mm -hmm. you are not in touch with the reality, reality around you. Right, right. And you know the normal social realities. Yes, yes. We are expected yes. to overcome yes. something. Absolutely. And it happens all the time. Yes. I could be annoyed with you, you could be annoyed with me, but then um, after a few hours, we, we're back to we back. We are expected good. to go back. But then to this me. thing. Now, this one, you don't come over. No oh, okay. Now, when mm -hmm. you get to that level, mm -hmm. like you're saying about her. Yes. The moment she sees that child, mm -hmm. it becomes a reminder of a painful experience. Yeah. Yeah. And who wants something that hurts them? No, 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 not anyone. And indeed, she actually mentioned it. And she said, every time I see my child, I just remember one minute this child was calm in the stomach. Yes. But the trauma I went through to bring that to the world. And, yes. and, and to um, push the baby yes. without, uh, without painting any, 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 any profession bad, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these people who help women and ladies to go through the process right. of a delivery uh -huh, uh -huh. and giving birth, mm -hmm. if you ask me, mm -hmm. 
they need to go through serious training in the field of counseling Absolutely. and handling human beings. Wow, I yes, don't mean true. to say they uh -huh. don't know. Yes. But sometimes yes. they do not understand when someone has crossed the, the path yes. of their trauma and uh -huh. pain uh -huh. and they do not assist instead they increase. They increase or they even create. Yes. Right. So now mm -hmm. you find mm -hmm. uh, a lady who is coming out of mm -hmm. giving birth, mm -hmm. the voices that she oh, had from true. the maternity, right. uh, the delivery room, <laughs> yes, yes. the treatment she went right. through. And then she realizes, uh -huh. I don't want to see. It's it. true. By the way, uh, for you, Queen, did that happen when you were in labor? What, what they, the, the people who are assisting you kind to you? Yeah, they were okay. kind to me because uh -huh. Uh -huh. one of the nurses yes. was my aunt. Oh, okay. So they were treating me with care, but yes. one of them was very harsh. Oh, Actually, no. because I was, when they are trying to to measure the... Yes, 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 with the fingers. The, yes. The yes. Yes. Then yes. I would cross my, yes. my legs yes. and rotate myself. Yes. Then they were so annoyed. They are telling me, you will kill your own baby. Yes. I can see, and we can identify already yes. from that. <laughs> and, and I want to believe this was yes. her first baby. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So you can imagine mm -hmm. someone telling you you will kill. Uh, no one loves being called a mandara. No. However, yes. the trauma she is through in, yes. she is unable mm -hmm. to reason and understand yes. the magnitude of what you're telling her. Absolutely, absolutely. And you are two people co not communicating. Right. One is in this world, the other, and the other one is in another. Yeah, she yeah. wants you to deliver so she can exactly. move on to the next and one. And when they measure, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to teach them. Yeah. But <laughs> you realize yes. this is a person who has maybe yes. the first child yes. who has not been examined yes. on a private part in, a, in public. Very true. No, no, no. I do not know it's why she's true. laughing, but uh, yes. <laughs> she, she must have experienced it. No, I'm remembering when mm -hmm. I when I was about to give birth. Yeah. Like I was feeling like to poop, you yes, know. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> the doctor said nakulete ando kunando mingi apa. Yeah. So now they brought two oh, parts. No. <laughs> but unfortunately, yes. it was the baby. Oh, so I was with my mom there. Okay. My mom told me, no, don't, don't, don't continue. Yes. So I ran to the bed, yes. you know, the delivery bed. Yes. Then when, mm -hmm. I, when I slept there and opened my legs, yes. I opened them myself. Yes. Myself, I didn't yes. want anyone, anyone to touch me. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> so now I saw the doctor, a male one, coming with those instruments. Yes, yes, one yes. For the instruments for cutting. delivery. Yes. Well, uh -huh. I just pushed the baby <laughs> yes, and yes. fainted. Oh my. Hmm. Because you didn't want them to cut your child. Yes. To cut you up. To cut me because yes. of the pain I was going through. Absolutely. I was just tired. Oh, okay. The fingers, uh, yes. the needle. Yes. In fact, they kept a needle to oh, pierce my water. Oh, wow. So it yes. was. Oh, sorry to hear, hmm. to, it sorry was to hear that. Hmm. Yeah. And, and, and you can imagine yes. it. She passed out, yeah. not because yeah. of what she was saying, yeah. the, pain the pain she was through. Yes. And that now brings us to looking at depression. Yes. It's a very painful experience that one goes very through. True. And um, if, as a society, we can be able mm -hmm. to help people walk through their painful experiences, right. we can lessen. Yes. The people the who are turning uh -huh. into depression. Very true, because it because can be because yeah. uh, losing mm -hmm. a family member, mm -hmm. you can be depressed. Mm -hmm. and postpartum, there are okay. so many causes of depression. Absolutely. One thing that is very clear: mm -hmm. depression has a root cause, which yes. is either physical yes. or mental. mental. Yes. Yes. And these two, uh -huh. you cannot separate them. Very true. However, mm -hmm. when we go deeper into it, mm -hmm. we will not say mm -hmm. this chemical, this uh, neurotransmitter <laughs> yes. is not working, and yes. so we can balance it. Yes, and yes. that is why yes. when you're in depression, uh -huh. they will always give you antidepressant true, true, true. so that they can balance. lower you and balance yes, you. Yes, and yes. sometimes yeah. they knock you off. It's true. So, <laughs> from a psychological perspective, yes. 
how can we mm -hmm. reduce yes. pain yes. and trauma? Yes. People go into depression through abuse. True. Have you ever thought of people who have been raped? They enter into serious depression. Yeah. Because this is not what I expected. Yes. This is not what I planned. Yes. If we ask her, mm -hmm. uh, imagination of having a baby yes. and what she went through mm -hmm. their day and night absolutely she and that is not what she had bargained for exactly to start with exactly and that is why yes. now coupled with the pain that she went through yes. in the process yes and i do not know Mudeo's story mm -hmm. but if my experience mm -hmm. Delivery problems and issues. Yes. I can almost tell <laughs> yes. they had an issue with the boyfriend. It's true, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So Support this system. depression did not <laughs> occur when she gave birth. It's true. Towards, it had occurred a yes. long time ago. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe actually, she was rejected. Yes, actually, rejected. just for matters of and purposes of just recapping, she had actually lost her first pregnancy with the same so, boyfriend yeah. and then months later she became pregnant so it wasn't something smooth and you know for a normal couple to say let's sit down we're gonna have a baby yes. she was only a baby she was a baby herself yeah. and then she has this boy who at that point him he's just having his fun and he's not going through half of the things she's going through carrying this child delivering it uh, but uh, he's a boy who is just observing from another perspective so yeah. yes yeah. and that's the closest person she expects to go through the journey with and yes. those are the places where yes. our depression gets to the rooftop because right. there is no day i expect mm -hmm. my partner yes my child yes my mother yes. to neglect me yeah. or to do a negative thing yeah. that causes me pain exactly and because it is done by my mother mm -hmm. i am able to, unable to understand yes how could mom do mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. imagine maureen if mm -hmm. you put something or hurt me it is easy for me to deal with it True. i'll say maureen ni mukikuyu yeah maureen and yeah. i will have yeah. reasons it that gives yes, yes, me yes, yes, an yes. opportunity to yes. overcome Absolutely. and cope it's true wait until maureen will become my daddy yeah <laughs> how could maureen do this mm. How can she do this? Yeah. And I am mm. unable to come out of it. Very true. So if we can be able to address our sources mm -hmm. of depression uh -huh. and trauma yes. and pain, yes. because it is not the depression that comes, it true, is true, true. trauma and the pain it's that the comes cause. first. It's the cause. Now, when yes. this, I am unable to deal with it. Uh -huh. What can we do? Mm -hmm. My body then it, moves. It knows and it goes into a state, state. of my mind yes. realizes yes we are in danger yes we have to do yes. this exactly. so that we can address this exactly and that happened to her a yeah. lot and her thoughts were this baby i don't want to hold it i don't want uh, to breastfeed, uh, breastfeed. Mm -hmm. i don't want anything to do with it. in fact at some point her baby was so malnourished yeah. and uh, it's only because she was unable to feed this baby and then i think everyone around her i mean if you see your they mom started crying, Taking the baby away from me. Exactly. You. And she sent me to your end. Yes. So that I can interact with people, yes. friends. Yes. Yeah. And, and I think uh, it all comes down to uh, purposes of uh, ignorance. Yeah. Once people do not know what they're dealing with, how can they resolve it? Now, yes. um, unfortunately, mm -hmm. in Africa, yeah. in our country, mm -hmm we do not have deep understanding on how to help people yeah. who are grieving, exactly. who are in pain, yeah. who are suffering trauma, mm -hmm. we actually aggravate the issue. It's true. One of the best mm -hmm. solutions mm -hmm. for someone who is going through mm -hmm. painful mm -hmm. moment yes. is to allow them to be themselves. It's true. And um, it's one way to allow the body, yes. the mind, to do what it needs to do. If they are making noise, mm -hmm. she was in a family setup. Yeah. The best if she was undressing. Mm -hmm. uh, most people undress. That's true. Uh, allow them. Yes. Allow them. Okay. 
as long as the environment is it's safe. safe. Yes. If, for example, it's a time yes. when daddy is not there, you know, it's a big girl, yes. but the brothers are yes. not there. Yes. And sometimes we fail mm -hmm. to remember mm -hmm. it is in the family mm -hmm. whether, where our shame is supposed to be protected. It's true. Unfortunately, mm. we don't it's do that. where it's exposed, exposed, actually. Yes. Now, we cause more pain. Mm -hmm. Because I always argue with people. Yeah. It is the worst if she's undressing, if she's making noise, mm -hmm. allow her. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's no object she can arm herself. Right. Let her be. Okay. With time, if it has reached some levels, mix it with medication. With time, yes. it is easy to come out of depression when you are in the right support. Absolutely. Than when your support system yes. is Pushing Collapsing, away. And pushing, pushing your, away. or aggravating. By calling you names yes. and by hurting you right. the more. Right. Now, yeah. when we go in pain and trauma, mm -hmm. that is when we are reminded, Uli Aribu Pesa, Ukuni Skisa, Like for her, self blame also. Because yeah. she was like, Mona Nigiza, Niko Amdogo, Exactly. Yes, yes. And I can maybe tell uh -huh. it was coming from the family. Of course. It's always the family. So she starts asking. Yeah. yeah. So I am good for nothing. Mm -hmm. My esteem yes. dives down. I have no worth for I. True. And that's the end of it. True. When we lack worth, mm -hmm. there's no meaning of living. Very true. So mm -hmm. you feel I am not needed. Yeah. Actually, yeah. no wonder we have so many people in depression mm -hmm. and trauma yes. thinking of killing themselves. It's true. Because, because they have lost. It's a never-ending tunnel. Yes. It gets dark. Every day it yes. gets dark, darker darker and you do not see right the end of it's your way especially and, and and not only is it mental but what is mental also transpires to be physical, to physical yeah. because personally having gone through uh, actual depression actually postpartum depression and actual depression i'll find myself never wanting to get out of bed never wanting to open the curtains losing interest in everything uh, not being able to eat it's it's it, it's never ending and it's a physical manifestation as it is mental and what i'm hearing is there's hope yes. there's hope to just go through it but most importantly recognize it so um with your final remarks for for instance uh we we speak about the general depression but it's it's the same depression that comes with postpartum yeah. Uh, what would you tell people out there, especially again young parents like Queen and also parents of Queen and the family members around them who actually uh, are in charge of this person? What message can you send them uh, out there? One word. Mm -hmm. Love. Love. At that particular time, I know it's the most difficult time for both the caregiver right. Right. and the person who is in pain. Right. But when you love, mm -hmm. I am able mm -hmm. not to push the person yes. Yes. deeper into yes. the state. Yes. One thing is very common with anyone who is in depression mm -hmm. or one who is in pain. Yes. They always get back. Uh -huh. Even if it is for a few seconds. Yes. Yes. What word do I release uh -huh. when they have come back? Absolutely. At that particular time, yes. may may ask, Mom, Am I that bad, really? Oh. It's the moment the mother should wake up, hug the yes, child, yes. and assure them, yes. you're my best. Yeah, okay. You don't know yes. how far yes. that takes oh. the person. It's true, and I agree. Yes, I agree. because mm. they are down. Yes. They are only looking for affirmation, right. true. Assurance, assurance that affirmation. I am not yes. a write-off. Okay. And once you do that, yes. you reassure in small bits. Yes. So they say, oh, mom, do you love me? <laughs> You're the best child. I yes. do love you. Yes. <laughs> and I have said the word, yeah. hug. Yeah. It is the greatest thing you can offer yes. that you don't need to it's pay for. It's a wonderful expression yeah. of love. It shows yes. attachment. Yes. Protection. Yes. Cover. Yes. Now, the moment those things are done, mm you might be shocked yeah. at the rate of recovery yes. of the person. Right. But now, mm -hmm. when 
they ask those questions and mm -hmm. you offer something negative, right. you push them because okay. they are asking from the premise mm -hmm. they are having oh, doubts about with themselves. themselves. Yes. They have a state they were in, yes. they can see where they right. are, they are wondering, okay. will I ever make it? Absolutely, or will I move forward from yeah. this? And yes. the person they're asking is yes. a caregiver, yes. someone who has authority yes. over them. Oh, they see. have all Great. what it all right. takes yes. to help the person yes. come back to themselves. Uh -huh. And with love, I can assure you, yes. it's the best medicine. Nothing and is uh, <laughs> it breaks all barriers. Right. It overcomes everything. Yes. And that's what I can say yeah. is the most thing. Yes. Because when they come for therapy, yes. we don't over much. No. It's An just animal we call space. acceptance. Yes. Yes. Unconditional positive regard yes. and we give them an environment to express themselves yes. without judgment, yes. without condemnation. Yeah. And yeah. we start the journey of recovery. Okay. I believe even families okay. can do the same. Wonderful. And should anyone want to reach you, where can they find you? Oh, thank you. Uh, I am based at uh, View Park Towers okay. on the 15th floor, mm -hmm. uh, door number 11. Okay. And I practice under the name Purpose Counseling and Wellness Centre. Wow. Uh, this is where mm -hmm. we transform minds yes. uh, from this uh -huh. to that. To that. And I have seen yes. tremendous change yes. on people. Wonderful. All what they need yes. is to have courage yes. and walk to purpose. Wonderful. And the journey yes. of recovery yes. has come. Wonderful. Uh, very few cases of failure yes. with a lot of cases of uh, success. As and I'm not be. drumming my, dr <laughs> um, I'm not beating my drum. Yes. That's the reality. It's a fact. And yes. Uh, yes. I know yes. therapy works. Wonderful. Yes. Therapy so works and everybody needs come. a bit of therapy. Queen, uh, your last words to a young mom like you out there, to a mom who is like your mom out there who doesn't know what's happening, what can you tell them? I think they should just understand their daughters. Yes. They should not even look down upon them like mm -hmm. they start telling them those bad words. Yes. Because of the depression. Absolutely. And actually they should bring them closer. Yes. So that the, the daughters will be able to share everything. Yes. yes. Now just like my mom. Yes. Back then I could not talk to mom mm. some some things, but yes. now I'm free. Yes. I can just tell my mom everything. Yes. Okay. And uh, should anyone want to reach out, hear more about your story, where can they find you? Your social media. Do you have social media handles? Yeah. Yes. Queen Aneri. Okay. Yeah. Great. I just want to thank you both for again sitting down with me and sharing from the bottom of your heart. Uh, this transformational you know uh, uh, journey of the nest it's a safe space Kyoto and uh, you're welcome again and again and again mm -hmm. and Thank I you. hope that you keep spreading hope and being an activist of saying it is okay not to be okay and everything comes to an end. Thank you so much Thank for you always too. giving us a gem of, uh, gem of wisdom for accepting our invitation Karim. and again like I said you're becoming a first favorite on the nest. Thank wow. you so much. Guys, uh, Kinacho, Mwanzo, Kinamusho Pia and this is where we conclude uh, today's program on postpartum depression. I hope you've learned something. The takeaway for the day is love. Love, 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 love cures it all. Mm -hmm love with hugs, love with therapy. Show and tell that person at home who could be going through this, this thing called depression, which we do not know where it comes from, but at least we know it is brought by a traumatic event, which can be overcome. Let's be kind to one another. Professionals up out there, especially people who come into transition with moms, always have an encouraging word. And we can make this world a better place by bringing home happy moms who will bring up happy children. Should you want to reach us, you can always get us on our social media handles at Y254TV. You can also reach me on Maureen YT2 on all my social media pages and you can share your story and we'll get in touch so that we can keep nesting on the nest. 
Special thanks to the crew, my director, my producer, and also to Mocha Coffee for hosting us every time and for your delicious coffee. And again, today I'm dressed by Boss Babes, <laughs> Boss Babes 254. I really love the look and I also have hair from Strands and Curls by Mo and everything else is got. <laughs> See you next week, same time, same place. <laughs>